Welcome to this episode of The Garden of Democracy, presented by author and speaker Evelyn Roberts Brooks. And now, here is Evelyn with today's God Session. To energize your imagination and amplify your belief in your creative powers so you can experience life at a more joyful level than ever before. Welcome to the Garden of Democracy. I'm Evelyn Brooks, author of the Liberty and Justice book series. As a nation, we need healing, and we need it now. Unleash your power to create positive change in the world. America's new breed of freedom fighters responds to the question posed by millions of people who want to know how to combat the Trump administration and the destructive agenda of Republicans in Congress. It offers advanced support, inspiration, and encouragement for members of the over 6,000 indivisible groups that sprang up when Trump was elected, for marchers and protesters, for Democrats, moderates, liberals, and progressives. The second edition of America's New Breed of Freedom Fighters includes the entire first edition and a new section called The Heart of Progress, along with Barack Obama's call to action to tend to the Garden of Democracy. Together, we can and will defeat and neutralize Trump's extremist, hate-based agenda, using the laws of nature to attract success for the causes dear to the hearts of compassionate and progressive Americans. We can prevent the massive havoc and destruction that Trump and his supporters are championing. This book includes a crash course in using the laws of the mind, such as the law of attraction, in a more effective way than most of us ever learned. I am here to make a difference, and I believe you are here to make a difference too. A positive difference, not the kind of difference Trump and his America First supporters are enacting. The world is moving toward globalization and interaction among nations. While Trump demands walls, deportations, and other Hitler-esque actions that appall sensible people, even the Dalai Lama, voted the most beloved man in the world, suggests an anti-Trump program in his newest book about politics and the Trump-fed divisiveness among nations. Together, we can access the power of the mental laws to create the benefits and progress we desire for ourselves and future generations. Battling someone never leads to progress. It only leads to anger, resentments, and anxiety. When fear takes hold, it clings with a grip. We must loosen those barbs of fear and free ourselves to lift up into a higher, finer vibration of spiritual awareness. From that vantage point, we can have a broader perspective of the transformational times we live in and the inevitable fact that many people are still in the old mode of living and will resist and hate us for wanting to keep evolving and expanding. America's freedom fighters are not defined by a specific skin color, ethnicity, age, gender, education, economic status, or any other distinguishing feature. We're not a homogenized group. We are the people. When we fear and dread what the Republicans in Congress will do next, we become inadvertent collaborators, transmitting our invisible energy straight to them and feeding their greed for power. Let's not let that happen to America. It takes bravery to be a freedom fighter. It requires more compassion and self-control to practice nonviolence than to explode in anger. But the payoff is wonderful. We grow, expand, and create more joy in the world. Peace at any price? Not when it means kowtowing to the tantrums of a misogynist, narcissist, and racist. You can't get happy results by thinking unhappy thoughts. I wrote this book to offer insight into how you create your life experience moment to moment, day by day. What would it feel like to know that you are making a difference in the world. Would it surprise you to realize that you do make a difference every single minute? It's true. And what we have overlooked as a whole is that we are always making a difference, but we don't see that we affect everything either in a nurturing way or in a devolving way that brings about more of the unwanted all around us. 
However, when we take the time to step back from the emotional trauma and recall that we are all eternal spirits here for a reason, then we can make a choice as we ask ourselves, do I want to align with goodness or do I want to align with fear? The decision is ours. Do we move forward or do we allow fear to mire us in the mud of inaction? This book provides information on how to peacefully manifest change. I'm Evelyn Brooks with a reminder that we become and we create what we think about the most. So please think happy, healthy, and uplifting thoughts. Thank you.